this case, well, the client wanted initially just a barn. But yeah, we were wondering what can you do with a barn? I mean, is a barn, what does it add in terms of usage and as well in terms of visibility? So we were then, um, and when we came from the road, we said, okay, let's put a barn in the axis of the road so that whenever you come from the road, you immediately look to a normal house, say with a chimney and with a window, and there's someone cooking before the window, and that's it. That, that's what, yeah, yeah, welcome home. And then we started to push the barn because we saw this beautiful slope and um, we said as we push the barn more from away from the road you push it more and more into the landscape up to one could see over there the trees and you start to touch that that vulnerable piece of land the piece of nature when you're not allowed to touch it because there are frogs or whatever uh, highly protected uh, insects in it so okay we don't touch the ground we just move towards you with a normal structure that you see all around I mean, it's more cantilever you can understand, but at the moment that you that is this one-to-one -one feeling, then you start to shake a little bit yourself, and that, that I think is that's an that's an interesting moment that you yeah, because holiday homes are basically about safe and, and and calmness. So what we try to do is to make a cantilever to make a house that in a way when you do it like this, that's not spectacular. Till the moment that it does this, then it becomes exciting. From the moment that, that that you feel that it's balancing, and that's um, you can feel it literally because it goes a little bit up and down. But on the other hand, it is psychologically you can see it. And you, if you go around the house, you say, eh, "Is that possible?" The barn takes the shape of of its brothers here nearby, um, and. But it wants to be slightly more sublime. It wants to give more space for nature by its floating and by the fact that we cover it with a material that reflects uh, the surroundings more. In the discussions during the building permits, that was one of the things. I mean, people appreciated the fact that it is connected to, um, to, the, to some of the traditions here, while on the other hand catching up with, uh, with alternatives. What you can compare this house with the hanging houses in Amsterdam is that, um, the dude that because of that they are hanging, that people have suddenly more facades within the house. And that, um, that adds quality to a house. There we needed the cantilever in order to make that. Here the cantilever addresses uh, the openness of the landscape and the, and, the, and the fact that this is a barn wants to celebrate that and it wants to, to show it in its most uh, spectacular way almost. The, the cantilevers are a way to address um, that architecture yeah, can leave the planet almost, that can start to, to float and to, to, go up, go, to go up. And at the moment that you put a column there, uh, it would ruin it. Because it would ruin the feeling that man can make something which is almost unbuildable in his first glance.